are back live with your Pokemon Punch Boxing Hour brought to you by George Rosie Insurance, www.hssp.cc, sportsjuice.com. Little article right here in ESPN Magazine. Don't know if uh, you saw that on the camera or not. Because the little window just turned around. It was there a second ago. Um, little story here about Javier and Oscar Molina, um, two twin brothers. Uh, how old are they? 18 year olds from Commerce, California. They are about to become the first twins to compete in the same Olympics, but to say there's a twist just doesn't even cover it. Um, Javier, one of the two brothers, uh, is going to be boxing on the U.S. Olympic team at 141 pounds, and his older brother of, you know, excuse me, his, his brother's 120 seconds older. Yeah is going to be fighting for Mexico at, a, at um, 10 pounds heavier at 152. Now they're not on the same team? They're not going to be on the same team. How crazy is that? Yeah, the U.S. team actually has a really good team this year. They, they haven't lived up to expectations the last couple of years. This year, judging by what happened just recently in the, uh, what was the games that were just in Chicago? Uh, the, boxing the World Boxing Championships. The World Boxing Championships, they won two gold medals. So. Yeah. Those two guys are, are obviously on the team. They're probably going to do pretty good. And then now we got uh, one of the two twins here that yeah. are. And They're obviously really good fighters, or they wouldn't have made a, a big old article about them in the ESPN magazine. Or maybe they put the article in there because they've never had twins in the Olympics. Uh, you know, compete in any sport in the same Olympics. I think that's crazy cool. I wonder if they're in the same weight class. They might end up fighting each other. I just said, 141 and 152, 10 pounds away from okay, each other. Okay, so yeah, so they and they're not going to be, uh, they're definitely not going to be fighting each other. That's paying how much I pay attention to you. That's all right. What'd you say? <laughs> all right, it is time for, uh, pretty popular, evidently, for, by uh, by going on YouTube and checking out the comments. It's become pretty popular the last, last two, three weeks. Um, I go on Yahoo Answers, and I, uh, and I, I just made it to level three on all the all the questions, which means I got I got the Triforce and uh, pretty soon you're gonna win a free game. I, I got a bunch of tree tickets, but uh, no, you, if you get a thousand points, you made you've made it to, to level three. And I I don't know, I'm becoming quite addicted to Yahoo Answers, but I go on every week and I pull up the the three funniest responses to serious questions and uh, try to find the you know the funniest answers that, that people actually put on it. Got some pretty funny ones here. Uh, first one, the Keithinator asked, if you could speak to any boxer of all time about a non-boxing related subject, who or what would it be and why? So pretty much they're asking, what boxer from history would you want to hang out with for a day? And a lot of people said Ali, a few people said Marciano. One guy says Marciano because I'm Italian just like he is and I want to talk about what it's like to be Italian. Yeah. You could talk to your brother about what it's like to be Italian, I guess. <laughs> um, Gene Tunney, because he was so brilliant. And one guy says, I want to discuss quantum physics with Mike Tyson. <laughs> awesome. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. Uh, Abdullah asked, Prince Nassim Hamed versus Manny Pacquiao, who would win? One guy says, well, 30 guys said Pacquiao. One guy said uh, Nassim Hamed. The other guy says Pac-Man would win. While reading a French cookbook with one hand, <laughs> boxing with the other, all while snoozing on a beach towel would smack Chins Nassim right over the ring ropes the way he came in. Yeah. Good Nassim, times. Nassim, Good nothing, times. Nothing in comparison to that. <laughs> not even, shouldn't even be in the same room. That question should not even be asked. <laughs> and my personal favorite, do all boxers wear protective cups? No. <laughs> <laughs> one guy says yes, but I don't know because Hopkins wore one and didn't seem to get that hurt. That's pretty dumb. One guy says, yes, of course, why would you not want to protect yourself? And one guy writes, only the ones that would like to someday reproduce. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah, Hopkins didn't, do, his, they probably meant that his his didn't do much good, because obviously he stood there for, tried to take the whole five minutes, not being able to recover from that little blow that he got. I don't mind that so much, he only took two minutes. He was he was allowed to it have taken as much like as five minutes. It seemed like a long time, but I mean, when you watch it, it's like two minutes and twenty seconds. I think is what he actually ended up taking. I didn't sit there and count on my fingers and toes. He said it actually knocked. His if I get naked, I can got to twenty-one. Actually, <laughs> he said it. He said it actually knocked the junk out of his trunk. So well, twenty and a half. 
<laughs> you could almost make it to 21.